around a fire in a tribal time, and she walked up, or you walked up to the fire, that first moment when she looked at you, what, she, what would she see? What would she see? And how would you emotionally hit her? Right? Okay, you have to demonstrate that you have high survival value. And you gotta do that in the first three to five seconds as fast as possible. You can't look sickly, you can't act sickly, you can't look weak or shy or whatever. This is the thing, right? Like, I know beautiful girls that go, oh, I love shy guys. Cool. Big deal. Big deal. Are they attracted to shy guys? Some girls I know, they say that. Now, here's the point. So what? I don't know one fucking shy guy that can get as many girls as I can. So, <laughs> you like shy guys? That doesn't mean shit to me. I'm not a shy guy and I get a lot of girls. Big deal, right? So it's not a good enough survival strategy. That's like a guy coming and saying, I like girls with short hair. That's great, I don't. And the majority of men don't. Some men do, some men do, probably in this room. The majority don't. So what if you like short hair? I'm going for successful survival strategy. The most successful, right? And I can tell you that if you're a shy guy and if you walked up into the tribe, and you were like, and she's looking around, and there's other men jumping around and wrestling and shit, you're probably not gonna get it, <laughs> okay? Maybe, possibly, again, you could get lucky, but we're not here to get lucky, we're here to have some skill. So that's the frame for you to think about. How alive are you? How alive is your communication? After this, if you get a chance, go on YouTube and punch in Anthony Robbins. Watch one of his seven to ten minute talks. That motherfucker's alive when he's on stage. Damn. Okay? Now, does that mean that's the level you have to be at? It means that if you are at that level, you'll be more successful. That's all that means. Okay? That's it. You have to have a presence about you. Sometimes you might be over the top. I get that sometimes. I get that sometimes from people. And I say, of course I am. I am an extreme case. If they had any idea of my goals, they would know why I'm over the top. I'm not trying to make $100,000 next month and drive a little Ferrari and maybe have a beautiful supermodel girlfriend. I'm trying to have 70 supermodel girlfriends and make $700 million and have 10,000 fucking Ferraris all over the world. That's extreme, so I gotta be extreme. And the bitch is going to appreciate it or not. And if she's not, she is not good enough. Simple. Because somebody else will. Because what I'm going for, I just told you. And that's attractive to a female. And it's something I want. I want without apologizing for it. Okay? Now, there are two sets of values, okay, in, in, in this world. Well, there's more, but you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. We've been told certain things are important, and they're actually not important, okay? And there are other things that we were told they're not important, they're very fucking important, and I'll tell you what I mean. To me, as a man, okay, I'm 35 years old, I've had 18 cars, so do the math, I started driving when I was 16, about one car a year, because I get bored of them. And the last two cars that I had, uh, the one that I have now and the one right before were the only two cars out of 18 that I personally chose without apology and said, I want that car. 16 cars I wasted because they had to be economical, so my parents at even 33 years old would be okay with it. So that I wouldn't, you know, spend too much money a month, all this bullshit. Now let me tell you something. I have students that train with me in martial arts and they're between the age of 16 and 20. The 16 year olds, I just tell them, listen, you don't listen to me, okay? If you're 18 or 20, I'm going to tell you something. One of your primary goals as a man is to get the nicest, sickest, dopest car you could do. And don't eat that much, but get that car, okay? Get that fucking car that puts you in a different category. Trust me, okay? If I could do it all over again, I'd go back, work day and night, and have me the nicest car anybody would ever seen in high school and after and over and over and over because that's actually important in the mating ritual and unless someone's gonna come tell me listen it's not important mating ritual oh really is that why coke and Pepsi and Crest toothpaste and McDonald's and Animal Planet they all use sex to sell their products because it's not important suddenly 
Is that why every tabloid, every TV show, and every movie star has to be sexy? Are you kidding me? Because it's not important? I'm sorry, someone's fucking lying here. As a man, it's important that you have a nice car. Plus, I don't know any men that grew up that were like, I want a shitty car. You know what I mean? My ambition is to drive a piece of shit. Maybe they gave up. Maybe they gave up, right? I've driven many pieces of shit cars. <clears throat> what I'm driving right now is a piece of shit compared to what I should be driving. Fine. So we all grew up and we wanted this, the nice car, whatever that was in your mind. So good. So I'm here to tell you, you should have gone for it. And if you haven't, you should now. One of my students here did recently. What a sick car. And he saw the moment he drove up, what happened to everybody? Whoa. In fact, I had a beautiful girl with me here that night. First time she met her. Nice car. Take your fins out of your vagina, bitch. <laughs> so it is important, okay? Two, it is important, no matter what they said, to make a lot of money, okay? Uh, okay, money is the root of all evil, it's not all about money, it's not da 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 da, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Somebody should have fucking sat me down at six years old and said, here son, here's how you make money. <laughs> Here are the laws. It's not an accident. This is how you do it. These people made it. This is what they did. Do that and you make it. Now you're six. By the time you're 12, you're going to be the richest 12 year old there is. Okay? You're going to be able to buy whatever pack of gum you want, whatever He Man toy. You'll have your own bicycle at 13 years old with your own money. Damn, I'd be balling at 13 years old. You know what I mean? Imagine a 13 year old like, yeah, I got me a new bike today. And how'd you do that? I've been working since I was seven around the house and making stuff. I have my little bank. So, I don't remember in school being taught that shit. No. That wasn't even part of the education, but it's important. Okay? So, uh, oh, there's, there's more to this. It is important, as a man, to be able to defend yourself. Whether that's with a gun, or a dog, or your elbow, or your knees, or your teeth, or your head. Okay? You have to learn that. How could you not? <laughs> Let's go back in, in time again. Back in time, Everyone's riding horses, and the horses are fast, and they get to hunt shit, and someone comes in, it doesn't matter what kind of horse you ride, you could ride an ass, a donkey. <laughs> right? And only like the cool people are like on this big old steed and running across the fucking land. Right? And, and you're like, well, you know, at least I have a pony. <laughs> right? Yeah, I have a donkey. That's what they're telling us. You don't need the Ferrari, it's okay with that Ford. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It's stupid. What am I wearing? What, what is that fucking car? Why don't I save some goddamn money? Is it that important to eat? Not that much. Get some fucking cup of noodles. I lived off that shit for a year, so I know. Cup of noodles. Day in, day out. Get, get an egg, crack it, heat that shit up, and you got food. Get nutrients. So back in time, the horse would matter. Okay? And that's our transportation. And you want the best horse. Back in time, your resources would matter. If you had to go to another tribe and say, I want that girl, I want that girl, I want that girl. You couldn't walk up and be like, I actually have no sheep, no goats, no cows, no nothing but I think she's really pretty and I'll treat her really nice. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Where's your resources? You mean, you mean to tell me you're 18 years old and you have zero fucking cows? What did you do? I was in school. What does that mean? You sat eight hours a day and listened to someone talk? And then you were happy over that shit? Go get some cows, buddy. Okay, that's the money, the resources. And then you have those two and then the guy comes in, I want your daughter, uh, Uga, Uga. And then... They're like, okay, well, as he's talking, another man's like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> he's just crying. What are you doing? Uh, I can't defend myself. What do you mean you can't defend yourself? What do you mean you can't? I'm not going to be my daughter. You can't, you can't defend yourself. You have to defend her and her baby and you. You can't defend yourself. What the fuck's wrong with you? Get a sword and start swinging that shit at least. These were the important knowledge that nobody seemed to give a shit about. I don't know why they didn't tell me. I don't know why we weren't sat down and said, listen, son, make money, get great transportation, the car you want, learn to fight. Okay, and then we get to where we are right now, understand the female. Because that's what you're trying to mate with. Does it make sense to know everything about it? Right. It would be weird if you knew nothing about whatever it is that you cared so much about. Which is what's really interesting, right? When you're doing a, the pickup arts game, right? Everybody except this company, honestly. 
there's this weird feel to it, like, ooh, a pickup artist, be careful, don't let people know. You should be proud of it. You're studying the female psychology, okay? That's it, simple. That's what you're doing. That's beautiful. Any man who doesn't think they should study it is, is a nutcase to me. Weird, what are you talking about? You have to understand the creature. She is not like you. If you try to treat her the way you want to be treated, disaster, okay? Disaster. It's also her issue too. How many women are studying men? I don't know. And we know how stupid they act. Every man knows that. What does the last female you went out with know about men? No. She knows all about her own demands and her gossiping girlfriend circle. But what does she know about men? She's surprised that you like other girls. Where the fuck have you been, girl? What have you been watching, fucking Little Mermaid, your whole life? 100% of the men who are men who are not psychologically fucked up have a desire for other beautiful women. And every female in this world should know that shit. It should be on TV, it should be on the news, it should be everywhere. So it's not this big whopping surprise suddenly. <gasps> you looked at her. <laughs> we only have to deal with that because no one's like, what are you talking about? If my dog barked, would you be like, he barked! <laughs> <laughs> That's what dogs do. They bark. Cats meow. <laughs> Women seek status. She will leave you. If you sit on your fucking hunches and go, well, she loves me a lot, you know, I shall never leave me because she loves me. Oh, yeah, she will. She better know you're out there fighting. Not, I mean, fighting, but fighting. She better know that. Sometimes guys are like, well, I can't compete right now, you know? You have this, you have that. I have worked for what I have. I'm still working for what I have. But if you can't compete, what are you doing? She needs to see that, she needs to be able to see the ambition. She needs to do the math, they're good at that, and go, okay, in two years, I think he's going to have this, and I'll put up with this shit right now. <laughs> She's designed for that. That's what an 18 to a 20-year-old should do. See? If you're younger and you haven't amassed the resources on 35, so an 18-year-old versus a 35-year-old is not fair when it comes to resources. I, I have 17 more years of working in the world and making shit happen. So how is he going to compete? Well...